Hey, I'm Trevor from Fishhawk here, here with my good friend Pete Alex. We are, uh, we're out of Wilson, New York right now. I thought I'd just take a couple minutes and talk a little bit about the, the new Fishhawk Lithium series. Maybe just do a quick rundown of the, of the different models uh, that, are in that, uh, that are in that new series. So um, we'll start with the first one and uh, we're gonna actually start with what we call the, the Pro. And um, the Pro would be really kind of the direct replacement for the X4 series, which we introduced over a decade ago. And what the Pro will give you for data is it's going to give you, of course, it's going to give you your, your down speed and your down temperature from the probe. And then it's also going to give you your surface temp and your surface speed. So that, again, that's the Lithium Pro series model. And that would be the replacement for the X4. Um, the next model I'll mention is one that we actually don't have out here on the boat right now, and that's called the Multi. And the Multi uses the same probe as the X4 does, so it's going to give you your down speed and your down temp, but it's not going to give you any of the surface information. And, and the reason we call it the Multi is we designed it for multi-species boats. So let's say you've got a, a you've got a, a smaller aluminum boat or maybe something where you do some salmon trolling, you do some Great Lakes trolling, but you might take that boat on the weekend and go tubing with the kids or do some walleye fishing, anything like that. Uh, what the Multi lets you do is it's, it's really a portable system. So you have the option of getting it with either what we call a slip deucer, which does not need to be permanently mounted to the boat, or you can get that with a, uh, a transom mounted transducer, just like you can with uh, the Pro or the Ultra if, you, if you're looking for a, uh, um, a permanent mounted system. Uh, the, third, the third model in the series is, uh, is called the Ultra. And that's the model that Pete runs. That's the model that uh, Captain Casey runs in their boat. And uh, again, it's gonna give you your down speed, your down temperature. It's also gonna give you your true probe depth. And the depth is actually based on water pressure. So the depth number that you're gonna see from your, from your fish hawk is the actual true running depth of the cannonball and the probe because it's based on water pressure. Uh, it's also going to give you, of course, your, your surface data, your, your, your uh, mechanical surface speed and your, your surface temp. In addition to that, uh, it has the Bluetooth functionality. So if you're using it in conjunction with uh, the Canon Optimum Downrigger or you're using it with the, uh, the Fishhawk app on your phone, that display will Bluetooth uh, the, all the data, you know, either to the, to the Canon Rigger, to the Canon Optimum, or to the, your phone on the Fishhawk app. So that's just a real quick rundown of the three models in the Lithium series. And uh, hopefully it makes you, you know, give you a little more information to you know, kind of make the right choice for you. So we, we actually developed this system over a period of about three years and, and put a lot of field testing in it, into it. And Pete was one of the guys that was really instrumental in, in, in helping us put ours on the, on the new probe. Um, probably like the most commonly asked question that we get with the new series because it's got the rechargeable battery and everything is how long does the does the you know probe last on a single charge can you just share some of your experience pete with like like what you were seeing for probe life or battery life on the probe yeah i'm going to say we've had like uh, 55 to 65 hours of probe use before we've had to recharge it have you have you had to recharge now this spring yet yes. have you fished enough yep. already so yep it's on the charger today it's on the charger today okay yep. so and what will happen is on the screen you know when, when the battery uh when the the battery inside the probe when it starts to run low you'll actually see where it'll say low bat on the screen right. there and that low bat is is telling you you know, indicating that it is that it is time to to charge the charge yeah, the probe. This probe, uh, you know, we like the fact that it's smaller. Mm -hmm. We notice a definite, definitely a lot less blowback on our rigger cables. The, I was trying. And we to, love the color. Yeah, the color's black. Yeah, the color's black. I mean, that was actually that was something that really surprised us was the amount of feedback that we got from just changing the color from kind of this the clear bright right. you know or shinier color we got a lot of feedback from from people that uh, said hey thanks for making the, the pro black you know just feels it's you know stealthier in the water um, things like things like that but one of the other things and I've talked about this a little bit and it's it's kind of hard to, to uh, you know put into words until you see it but like if you remember the original probes you know you'd set them in the water and they kind of had like a almost like a plug action to yep. them like that where the where the lithium probes they just track straight and, and i think it does two things it, it i think that's one of the things that helps reduce blowback you know because you're, you're tracking straighter in the water and i think um it also like your your paddle wheel starts spinning 
at a lower speed, at a, at a, at a you know, less speed than, than kind of that inertia of having to start the, right. you know, start the. Yeah, I think it's a great improvement.